Beautiful night here in the Golden West of Sydney. It is the Downer World Cup Nines. And an upset to start things off with the young Lebanese team beating France in the uh, opening clash of this contest. And now we have a look at uh, the women for the first time. It is a four-team competition. And there are the PNG Orchids. And they will be taking on the England Lionesses in the first of the women's games. And there is uh, the competition, the women's pool, Australia, England, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea. Each team plays each other once, so each team plays three games, and the top two will go through to tomorrow night's final. Later tonight, it is Australia versus uh, New Zealand. But right now, we've got uh, England versus Papua New Guinea. Holly Wheeler, Jillaroo, and Brett Finch in commentary. Hello, guys. Hi, Dan. This is a sensational uh, night here in uh, Sydney. Late spring, crowd filing in, and uh, we should get some entertainment in this one. Holly, what team do you expect to challenge Australia? Oh, yeah. look, I, I can't go past the Kiwis. Um, you know, they were, the girls were so strong within the Warriors with the NRLW this year, and, um, you know, I know that they'll welcome back Honey, and, and they'll be a threat, that's for sure. So here comes the Papua New Guinea side. They formed as a rugby league test nation in 2017, just in time for the 13-a-side World Cup. And in fact, they played England in that tournament, went down that day 36 points to eight. But there's, uh, there's some skill amongst this lot. That's uh, Janet Johns and uh, this Papua New Guinea team. There's some muscle there as well. And a good look at them yesterday. The captain's run, a fair bit of skill to work with here, the PNG side. National sport as well, rugby league, and so popular up there. They love their league and PNG. They absolutely love it. We, I was fortunate enough to go over, to, over there last year and play, and it was unreal. And here come the Lionesses. They have their own competition, professional league. It formed a few years ago. They aligned with the Super League in 2017. It's an eight-team competition, so much like here in the Southern Hemisphere, the women's competition coming along nicely in the north. So the a lot warmer temperatures down here, Dan, than it would be in England. This is slightly, uh, slightly uh, shocking here for the uh, English team, and they'll be uh, kicking us off. That way. Okay, those before. So the women's World Cup of Nines gets underway and it's Papua New Guinea Elsie Albert is first to hit it up here for the Orchids and she will prove very hard to handle as comes across for Carpo going down the middle and already within 10 meters of halfway same rules as the men's uh, competition these uh, these clashes the 40 20 rule in place as well as the new 2040 and they are five tackle sets uh, PNG, okay. nice and set, steady to start things off. And here's Janet Johns going down the middle. And the silky offload. This is nice. Oh, oh Albert is taken by Hardcastle. And then the ball through the hands. And put down by Wake. Good signs there for PNG. But what about the strength there? Amy Hardcastle has gone after the biggest player in the Orchid side. Oh, and there she oh. is. Elsie Albert. <laughs> That's outstanding. Welcome to the Nines. Oh. And now England a little knock bit on. rattled. Oh, the girls are showing the boys how it's knock done, on. Dan. Now there appeared to be a knock on and there Look is. Look at this. Bang. What? I promise you, Holly and Finchie, that won't be the first of those in this tournament from Elsie oh, Albert. Let's go. So what a chance for PNG. As spotting a little opening there was Shirley Joe. Can the Orchid score first? Carpo. Johns. Albert. Loose pass, but cleaned up nicely. Watego. Now out to Wake. Not panicking here, the Orchids. Wait. Go to. Back to the middle. There's Carpo. She's got skill, Carpo. And she gets away from a tackler. Now away here. We're going for the line is Peters, and she's cleaned up by Beavers. Still a couple of tackles left here. A little run from Anjo. And 
And now we get to the final play here for the Orchids. Ignored is Joe. Carpo doing the kicking. That's not bad. It's an awkward bounce. And that is a tremendous result for PNG. Boy, they have got down to their work quickly tonight. Yeah, great kick on the last tackle. Just watch the bounce. If it had rolled on, I thought PNG might have an opportunity to score, but well done there. Repeat set. Okay, what do you want? So this is obviously very new for all these teams involved. And the Orchids looking quite comfortable. That's a nice drop out. Going well beyond halfway. Here's Alba with the offload. Aria. Now to Wake. And Wake escapes. Finally dragged down here. So it's been all PNG so far. Tago now on to Albert. No offload on this occasion. Now to the left. And Shirley Joe. Dummy not fallen for. Again, no panic here from the Orchids. As they work the short side, Janet Johns pins the ears back. Now the ball oh, away here tackle. to Archo, but a terrific tackle by Beavers. Last play here for the Orchids. And the kick from Peters. That's a little big, and England have survived and survived well. Yeah, good scramble from the English then. Johns, a lovely break. So England... They only had it for a couple of tackles the first time they had it. That was after that monster hit from Albert. And, uh, let's see what they have here. Lovely dart and running down the middle there. Jody Cunningham. And now a penalty for the Lionesses. So this will be the first time we'll see England on the attack. We're still waiting for our first points here midway through the first half. It must be so hard, Holly, to try and get uh, used to this game so quickly, obviously. These ladies are so used to the 13-a-side contest. Yeah, it would be. Um, obviously, there's so much more space out there, but there's some natural athletes that are just born for this, and um, I'm sure we'll showcase that today. All right, so... The physical side certainly hasn't dropped in. No. Uh, Gaskin, the lovely ball away to Marshall. Marshall goes down the middle and not only gets the try, but gets the bonus points as well. So England score with their first chance. And they lead five points to nil. Good signs there from the English. A lot of defence on their own line. First set back down the other end. They get the first try of the game. I'll be happy with that, Holly. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, they didn't panic when they had the ball and they've made the most of their opportunity. And we saw how important goal kicking was in the first game, the men's game, and that uh, conversion successful. That's our first try in the bonus zone, of course, too. Guys, I'm standing down here on the sideline right next to the English bench. No surprise to see what's happened. Their call from the bench, girls. Keep it simple. Simple play, easy points. It sure was, Andy. And we'll see the... The men's team straight after this, England taking on Wales. And we'll get our first look at the Cornwalls later tonight. Plenty of familiar names there when they take on USA. That's uh, towards the end of uh, tonight's action here. So it took a little while, but we finally have points in this game. And an awkward restart here. There's the Orchids. Coming up field here with Watago. It's Josephine Wong who gets it on now to Carpo. And Roswita Carpo. Good boy. And he got the late offload away. Rose, uh, Roswita is now outside. Here it comes to Anjo. And that ball came free. Handover. And it's a handover. No scrums in this format unless there are two infringements. A double infringement means we will pack down for a scrum, but we won't see that too often over the next uh, two days. Good opportunity here for the English team to get a try before half time. So basically, they've had one chance for one try as Danielle Anderson storms up to the 20 metre line. Sinead Peach, the dummy half. 
Little show and go. She fooled one, she fooled two. Now through the hands to Beavers. And Emlyn have their second. Yeah, great skills there from the English team down the short side. They showed a little toughness and then blended with plenty of skill to bounce back and score these two tries. Where are the English, Holly, in terms of their third in a side game? Obviously, we see a lot of new girls and the Kiwis a lot. Where, where are the ponds at? Yeah, look, I, I watched their um, grand final, um, the Super League grand final last weekend, and it was absolutely brutal. Um, you know, the physicality is there, and, and um, you know, they're going to be a team to, they're going to be a force, that's for sure. So not a bad attempt at conversion there, but it missed. So 11 points to nil. Okay, Glenn. Yeah, the Great Britain uh, okay. national team formed back in, in 2000. They, they played in three World Cups. Third yeah. in 08, third in 2013. Okay. And the semis in 2017. They don't have a big scalp yet uh, against Australia and New Zealand. And as I said earlier, they did beat the Orchids at the uh, last 13-a-side World Cup. So here's a strong Fast. run. And that's wait. Gloria Cowper. Wait, wait, go on. Now long to Shirley Joe. Escapes. Now to Peters. Peters, a lovely pass. Anjo into the backfield. In and away. Anjo to the 10. Anjo, no. Great tackle. Great tackle. Tara James Stanley with a try saver. Still got tackles left here. Albert. Finds an offload. Surely, yes! Oh, Ravu goes over for the Orchids, and they're on the board right on half time. What a superb try. Excellent work on the previous play down the left hand side. And I thought they were going to score then. Look at this for a pass. Outstanding. A little in and away here. Left, right, left. They call Catherine Anjo the governor. And she fancied her chances there. Important try for the Orchids, Holly. Definitely. Like like the um, English did just before, they didn't panic when they had the opportunity and they found the space and got the try. So the conversion misses and that is half time. It is England 11, Papua New Guinea 4. You're watching the Downer World Cup of Nines live on Fox Lee. Entertaining game here at Bankwest Stadium to open the Women's World Cup Nines. England leading Papua New Guinea Orchids, 11 points to four, two tries to one. Brett Finch and Holly Wheeler in commentary with uh, Dan Ganae. England scoring uh, a couple of tries, but the Orchids, a lot to like about their first half, especially with that try right on half time. Yeah, it was really important they got that try before half time down. A lot of possession, a lot of opportunities. They needed to capitalise, they'll do their confidence in the world are good. But Holly, the pop's definitely in the box seat at half time. Definitely, I mean, yeah, look, a lot happened in that nine minutes and it went so quickly, and I'm sure this half's going to be the same. And, um, you know, the um, PNG team so unpredictable, I'm excited to see what they're going to do. So, the speed the game's played at nine minutes would seem like an awfully long time out there, Dan. Yeah, they needed those uh, two minutes uh, in between. Later, it's uh, the Jillaroos against the Kiwi Ferns. We'll have that along with Australia and New Zealand in the men. So back to back Australia versus New Zealand clashes towards uh, the end of the night here the at Bankwest Stadium. Okay. Every team in the Don't tournament plays once tonight, and then every team plays twice tomorrow before we get to the business end. Okay. 
So the first try, you would imagine, so important in this uh, second period as we begin the final nine minutes. Let's see. Lionesses will have first use here. And Beavers, one of the try scorers for England, going too far here. Five tackle sets as opposed to six, but I get the start from zero here, England, as they get that penalty. Much experience in the, in the world of nines for either of the, these uh, teams, the players in these teams. There's a good, strong surge from Anderson. Daniel Anderson here will play it. In the centre of this field, as, as numbers out to the left, here goes Kara oh, Jane Stanley, but she's cleaned up in a terrific tackle from Wong. And now, a lovely pass, and there they go for their third try. Rhiannon Marshall gets over, and England extend their lead. Yeah, nice work. Tendency when you make a break down one side is to shift back to the other side. English, they come back and play through them. Didn't look to play around them. Punched the holes in the inside shoulders. So Rhiannon Marshall, the try scorer from the Castleford Tigers. And she's also been the captain of Yorkshire in the uh, women's... Uh, Origin clash. And conversion misses, but still a very handy 11 point lead. So we'll see England again later in this tournament tomorrow against Australia at uh, 2.30 Eastern Time, Australian Daylight Saving Time, and then they take on New Zealand in what might be a match for the final. A few hours. Uh, after their clash with Australia. So now the Orchids have got a bit of scoreboard pressure to deal with here. As good as they have looked so far in this game. It's Carol Francis playing it now. And here's Carpo. She's had plenty of possessions so far tonight. And then the lovely silky pass away to Wong. We're inside England territory now. Albert. Watego. Now to Joe. Anjo has looked dangerous. And gets the offload. Shirley Joe over the 30. This is nice. Oh, the pass goes down. Heather Ario dropping it just as it was bubbling nicely. Yeah, they've had a great ability to keep the ball alive, haven't they? The Orchids. Lovely offloads in that play. So there's uh, the King of Bank West, Mike Acevo there, watching on. What an exciting team that Fijian side is. And of course, we'll see them a little later as well. So England looking pretty comfortable now. Really have not had much possession at all. There's Emily Rudge in their headgear. And Roach across to Gaskin. Cunningham through the hands to Stanley. Now out to Lee Burke from St. Helens. And here's another penalty. So the fatigue really starting to set in. And the Orchids starting to do it tough. Can't afford to be giving away penalties in this, you know, in a game like this. And unfortunately, they paid the price the last time. Hopefully, they can hold them out this time. Yeah, get an opportunity to get back to back. So critical. Well, four and against may be important later on as well. So it's imperative they put on a score here when they've got the chance. And now that is off their hands here of Carol Francis for PNG. England recover here. Tara Jane Stanley Zero. inside the 10. Now, here's the ball fired out to Hoyle. Now to Anderson. And going for the line and scoring is Emily Rudge. And that just about puts a, an exclamation point on this. England look like they're going to win. Yeah, and been, win quite comfortably. Yeah, sorry, Dan. They've been impressive, haven't they, Holly? They've defended well and had good shape in attack. And looks like a good start to their ninth campaign.
Yeah, definitely. They've, they've just been um, clinical when they need to be and, and patient, and it's proving on the scoreboard. Simple, you know, um, numbers game here, and they uh, got the try for it. Emily Rudd's the try scorer, the captain, 20 test caps. She was the best and fairest for England in the 2017 World Cup, and is also a PE teacher. As, uh, yet again, the conversion misses, but that won't matter, it appears. Okay, with England up by 15 points. So, nine rules, the scoring team kicks off. And that's a handy kick, although, 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 it's too okay. big. And well, now well. that will force the Orchids. Well, Dan, I think the Orchids, their trainer here has an orange shirt like their jumpers. And the players thought <laughs> it was a player. And it forces the Orchids okay. to, to drop it out. So there certainly was confusion there. And you'd imagine they'll go short. No, it's uh, neither here nor there. And it's Georgia Roach who will play it here. England, they've already scored four tries. It's Shona Hoyle who's playing it on the 10. Short side, Stanley, the dummy, then the pass. It's beautiful. And a nice try for Lee Burke. Yeah, lovely little short side play there from England. Just counted the numbers, executed it perfectly, two on one, nice skill. They're making it look too easy now. So the Orchids now, they are, uh, they are wilting in the, these warmish conditions and they will rue the first five minutes of this contest. They had their chances but just couldn't quite crack the Lionesses defence. They've been quite clinical haven't they, England? Oh that's a nice kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick. So 25 points to four now for England with a couple of minutes remaining. The Orchids, they also, of course, play New Zealand in, in Australia tomorrow. And that is PNG ball. And can they get their second try to close out this game? Carol Francis uh, cops one there. Injury. So time called off here. Don't time forget off. England versus Wales in the men is coming up uh, after this. And a heap of English players uh, we're all familiar with on show. The likes of Gareth Widdop and James Graham. Sam Tompkins, we haven't seen him on these shores for a little while. Elliot Whitehead, George Williams, NRL bound. And there is a Welsh player to keep an eye on, Regan Grace. You'll notice him, he is lightning. That's he coming is up so there. fast. He may be, he may be Holly, the fastest player of this tournament. And that is saying something when you've got Pappenhausen, Addo Carr, Sivo. I did see that, they're challenging that. I'm, I'm interested to see who's going to be the fastest. I'm sure all those players will get... Oh, no, Elsie Albert puts it down. I'm sure we'll see all those players in full flight at, at some stage of this tournament. 20, 20, 20 offside, 20 offside. So okay, now England, they led 11 to 4 at the break and have gone right on with it in this second period. Here's Hoyle. That to Stanley. Just look good. He was part of the evident football system as a teenager. Now comes back here for Georgia Rhodes, puts the foot down. Oh, oh she's dropped it short. Great tackle. And over it was, but the meter. England's and attack over. deserves some credit. They've come here with a plan, Dan. They just haven't thrown it around. They've had a few little set plays. Go. Go as you are. Now the Orchids might just get the last use of the ball here. The with line. Janet Johns Wait. to play it now. In their moments, PNG. Good game, skillful, bit of brutality. In the end, a comfortable win as Peters plays it now. Here's a lovely show and go here. From Roswita Carpo and draws a penalty. And there may be time for one more play. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's see. What PNG have got? Well, Elsie off the back fence. And that's it. 
So a nice way to start the women's tournament. England comfortable winners over Papua New Guinea. The final score, the Lionesses 25, the Orchids 4.